Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are kicking off my mid-2021 declutter series. So in this first video, we're going to be going through all of my primers, foundations, concealers, and face powders. Uh, we're going to also touch on my setting sprays, but really I'm not decluttering any because this is it, and I'm pretty sure like this is almost empty. Yeah, so not really much in the world of setting sprays. I will also go ahead and link up my full declutter playlists. I've done declutters on and off ever since I think like 2018. So I have quite a few declutters in that playlist if you just feel like binge watching. Okay, so let's just jump right in. Um, over here I just have a big kind of velour poof from uh, Laura Mercier that's clean. I also have, oh, I have a mini poof as well. This is, oh, this is a good thing to bring up. I should probably move this into my other drawer. This is the e.l.f. Make Me Matte Powder. And actually, you know what? I can count on one hand the amount of times I've actually used this, and it hasn't really wowed me. So I'm gonna declutter this. Yeah, there we go, first product. Um, this is a little tin where I keep, uh, not where I keep, but where I, I can pour in the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner in order to clean brushes, so I just keep it back there. Then I've got my cute little uh, AOA Studio Shot Masse mirror, so I'll keep that right back there. For setting sprays, like I said, all I have is Fix Plus, the Wet n Wild Rose, uh, the matte, a mini matte finishing spray from NYX, and then a Milani Make It Last. So that's just going to stay there. Moving into the actual primer section. Okay, so I think one I can go ahead and declutter is this one from AOA Studio, the Blur Faction Face Primer. It really didn't wow me, and I feel like I can only use this like on the places in my face where I have really big pores. Um, it doesn't really do much for my face or under makeup for the rest of my face, so this can go ahead and get decluttered. I have these three AOA Studio primers, and let's think. The Wonder Skin Illuminating product I think is my least favorite, so I'm going to declutter this one. Let me see. I like the Clean Slate and the Perfect Filter, so I'll keep both of those. I think these primers from Milani are like just okay. They're nothing special. They're the Skin Quench Hydrating Primer and the Chill Out Soothing Primer. I feel like I can just use those up and then I won't buy them again. Um, I've got my Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury that I am not going to declutter. I've got the Garnier Skin Active BB Cream. I think this is like meant to be like a regular BB cream as makeup, but I'm not a huge fan of using it just like as a foundation. I really like it as a primer, and it's huge. There's a lot of product in here, so I'll keep that. I have this little sample from Guerlain. It's the like gold primer that's expensive, so I'll just use that. Okay. Putty primer time. Oh wait, I lied. There's an under eye corrector from Charlotte Tilbury, which you know what? Again, this might actually. This could be a petty. This could be a petty pan too, because it was so expensive, and I don't really need it or use it that much. I'm thinking of making the petty pan a rolling project pan. I don't know if I'll do that right away, but this would probably be included in it. So let's see. I have putty primers. Putty primers I like. Some putty primers I'm not a huge fan of. I was debating doing another big putty primer video because I did a video comparing the original e.l.f. one to the Tatcha and it surprised me how much I liked it. Um, this one's brand new to me, the Acne Fighting Putty Primer. It's the green putty primer, so I haven't used... Oh, there's a hair in it. <laughs> Lovely. But I haven't used this one enough. Can I get that out? There we go. I haven't used this one enough to see how I like it yet, but I have used these two the Makeup Revolution and the Butter Believe It. So I like the Makeup Revolution one a lot better. I actually have like a lot of pan on this. It's almost done. Um, the Makeup Revolution one, no, not the Makeup Revolution one, the Physician's Formula one, the Butter Believe It, I wasn't a huge fan of. It felt like really oily on my skin. So I wouldn't buy this again and I probably will declutter this, but I, I don't know, am I ever gonna film that video? Probably not. You know what? I'm just going to declutter it because I don't like it and it's just taking up room. So we'll declutter that. We'll keep just the Makeup Revolution one because I like that one. I don't like it as much as the e.l.f., but it is still a good putty primer. So let's see. Can we put that up there and maybe do... There we go. <laughs> Okay, so we decluttered quite a few primers. I still have a decent amount, but primer is one of those products. Actually, a lot of the products in this video specifically are going to be products that I can go through fairly often because I use them every day, and I do do my makeup 9 out of 10 days. So most of this I will go through and actually use. So we're done with primers. Let's go ahead and get into foundations and concealers. 
Welcome to my now fairly packed foundation and concealer drawer. Um, I also have some powders down here, uh, but yeah, we need to go through this. So let me, I'm gonna pull everything out and then as we put it back in, we'll go through it. I feel like we can go through the powders first because I really don't think I'm gonna declutter any of these because these are just everyday staples and None of them have been like horrific on me so far. I have a few uh, powders from Shop Miss A, like two in just the white translucent and one in shade 152 porcelain. I have this Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder. Once I finish panning this one, the Stay Matte Powder actually has a little bit of pan in it. So once I finish that, I'm gonna reach for this matte powder next. This is actually a new product to me. I haven't used it yet. This is the Halo Glow Setting Powder from e.l.f. And I think after I finish the Fit Me powder that I have in my everyday makeup basket, I'll go for this one next. And then remaining, all of these are just loose powders from Shop Miss A. I, oh, I kind of want to combine these into like, not, I mean, different colors. I mean, translucent or translucent. I kind of want to put them in just one big container. Because I don't, the one thing I don't like, I love the powder itself, but I hate how small the container is. I wish I could buy it like in a bigger, like Laura Mercier. Oh, and I just decluttered. I think I just recycled that container. I should have kept that. Um, well, I'll see. Maybe I'll have another container I can like put these into so I don't, they don't take up like this much space. But they're still good powders. And again, I do makeup every day. So I'm probably going to go through these in no time. So the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I really like this and I do have two shades because one is just way too dark for me and I thought it was the lightest shade, but it isn't. So I'm gonna keep shade Fair 120, which is actually my shade and we're gonna declutter shade 140. If I declutter anything that still has a lot of product in it or I can sanitize or anything, I will be selling it on my Poshmark closet. I'll have that linked down below and in the first pinned comment if anyone's interested. I've tried to have everything up for sale towards the middle of this declutter series because I'm planning to have this go up um, over about two weeks time. So check it out down there if you're interested in anything that I do declutter. I have two other like tinted hydrators or BBCC creams. I have the AOA Studio Perfect one and then the Wet n Wild. The Wet n Wild I do like a little bit more than the Shop Miss A one but I mean they're so small I think I can finish these up so I think I'll keep both of those and let's see I'm trying to think about also how I want to organize this drawer I'm going to put this Milani glow hydrating skin tint with them I have the shade 110 let me see can I like put it on top I'm going to keep this LA girl pro coverage white lightener I still have to use it a lot for a few of the foundations that I have here so I'm going to put it like towards the back of the drawer all right so these are new I just picked up new um I just picked up new bottles of the A Plus uh, Buildable Satin Foundation from Shop Miss A. I do love this foundation. And I also recently picked up the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage, which this is one of my Holy Grail foundations. So I know I need to keep that. So I think I'm, I'm thinking like my old favorites, the ones I know I'm going to keep, I'm going to push towards like the back of the drawer so that I can make more visible the products that I either don't use as often or need to use. I have this AOA Studio uh, Pro Wear foundation. It's pretty good. Not one of my favorites, but it's still a good foundation. I'm going to keep that next to the other. Uh, I do hate the packaging. This is kind of hard to store because they're glass and they're so small. I kind of wish it was a bigger container. I do love my Makeup Revolution Fast Base Stick Foundation, so I'm going to keep that. All right, here we go. A couple things we can declutter. First, I have the Collab Bright Spark Foundation. This one... It's in ebbs and flows for me. Sometimes I love this and then sometimes it looks terrible on my skin and it doesn't wow me um, and I don't need to keep it so I'm going to clutter this one. I also actually surprisingly wanted to clutter this. So um, I have the Bounce Foundation. My boyfriend bought this for me from TJ Maxx and it just looks and wears horrible on my skin. I really don't like it. So I'm gonna declutter this one. I'm gonna keep these two fairly expensive foundations. I've got the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Foundation, which I actually really like. This is really, really good. And the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, which this, this one's not my favorite. So I think I'm gonna keep this one up towards the front so that maybe I can go ahead and like use it and pan it and get it out of here. This is a brand new foundation to me. I just picked up the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation, so I'll keep that up here. I also just got the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, and I like this so far, so I'll put this one, I'll put it like towards the middle. Um, and I, I have this, and I'm almost empty with it. I was thinking of buying another refill of this, but 
like I have so many foundations I don't need to buy a refill of this so I kind of just want to finish this and then I'll probably keep the packaging maybe just like pull out the insert and get rid of that and then keep the packaging just in case I ever do want to rebuy this so again let's put that towards the front so hopefully I can use that up I think I'm going to declutter this MAC foundation because it doesn't actually match me this is the last time I got color matched at MAC and I got NW13 and this is really dark on me now and it just that's the reason why I buy these is to get uh, shade matched and it's not a shade match anymore so I am gonna declutter this and also since I'm decluttering this MAC one this pump I had to buy separately I think I can fit the pump on the Estee Lauder double wear which I do like but this is more of a treat I don't know if I would buy this again anytime soon um, so I'll put this one, we'll keep this one up towards the front because this works the best in the summer for me. And then eventually I'm just going to take this pump off and see if it fits there. All right, all right. So next we have the Wet n Wild Pump Makeup Locker BB Cream, one of my holy grails. I was able to use this to dupe a Chantecai BB Cream foundation and I love it. So that's staying. Um, I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, which is like my summer holy grail. I'm going to put that next to the Estee Lauder. Because I think within the next few weeks before fall, I will use up both of these because these don't work well for me in the winter at all. Next, I have the Butter Believe It from Physicians Formula. I don't think I've tested this enough. Honestly, I can't remember what I thought about it. So I think I'm going to keep this one towards the front just so that I can remember to actually use it. And then this one, you know, I'm actually kind of disappointed in this one because at first I thought it was going to be like a good foundation. It was fairly cheap compared to other foundations like on Fenty's level. But like now that I think about it, it's basically just like a foundation mixer or a super, 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 super sheer like cream. I don't know. I, I'm not a huge fan now that I'm like thinking about it. And I didn't use that much of it. So I think I'm going to declutter this too. This probably is something I'm going to sell on Poshmark. Okay, so I, th I think I did a decent job with foundations. I am going to rearrange this because I forgot I put my concealers here. So let me do some arranging. And we have removed the container. Okay, let me dump out the concealers. All right, we got a nice container here. Now, concealers, I know that there are some I'm going to declutter here because I don't like them. <laughs> Uh, first, I have two unopened concealers that I have as backups because I love them so much. I have the Dermacol Makeup Cover and then the Instant Age Rewind Eraser. I think actually I'm going to open up the Dermacol and just keep the tube because I'll be able to tell the difference between which one is new because my current Dermacol looks like this. So I think we're going to do that so that hopefully every concealer will fit just in this little basket. And by the way, I got these inserts. People ask me all the time. These inserts are from the kitchen section at Ikea. If I can find the exact you know, Ikea name of it. I'll throw it up here. And then this cute little basket was from Shop Miss A. I believe this one I got in PR. I don't 100% remember, but I have bought, I have gotten some in PR and then I bought some because these baskets are cute and they come in three sizes. That's the small. And then the medium one is this size I'm using to hold all my decluttered makeup so far. <laughs> they also have a large size that's too big to show here, but I do love those little baskets. They're really cute and really useful. Okay, so speaking of Shop Miss A, I absolutely adore their uh, liquid concealer, the Paw Paw Concealer, so definitely keeping these. All right, these I'm going to declutter. The Pixie Concealer was not a huge, you know, fan of. It didn't really work well for me. I did a whole video reviewing Pixie. I'll throw it up in the cards if you want to watch that, but I wasn't, you know, a huge fan of this. I don't need it. I'm going to declutter it. This is actually brand new, so I'm gonna either going to put this in a giveaway or just sell it or give it away to a friend of mine. This is the Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer, and just looking at it, I know it's dark. I'm not going to be able to use this on my under eyes so just declutter. So I hate how gross this looks but I actually really like this concealer from e.l.f. and it's actually the only concealer from e.l.f. I think I've ever liked. This is the hydrating camo concealer so we're gonna keep that. Let me put you that way. There we go. Then we'll do those like that. Uh, two of my summer absolute like mainstays essentials for the summer concealer. I got the instant age one that's open and then my Maybelline Superstay. I gotta admit, I really don't reach for this. I don't use it. I don't need to keep it. This is an under eye corrector from Shop Miss A. I've got other correctors. I just don't use it. Speaking of, I think I should move my under eye corrector from Charlotte Tilbury. I think that's gonna go in here. I do have a green color corrector. I've heard that I'm still testing out whether or not I'm actually olive. I'm like a, I'm like a chameleon. No one really knows what my actual undertones are, and whenever I get shade matched. It flip-flops. Sometimes I'm cool, sometimes I'm warm. People really don't know. And so I think I might have an olive complexion and that when I'm tanner, I look warm. And then when I'm like really light and pale, like now, I look cooler. That's what I'm, that's my 
my thought. And if you're olive, you can mix in a green to your foundations and stuff and it makes it look better. So I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm trying to think out about testing that more. So I'm going to keep that. Um, I also have these two concealers from The Ordinary that I love. I'm surprised. I really didn't really hear a whole lot about these. But these are just the high coverage concealers. I have the shades 1.0 NS and 1.0 N. I'm going to keep both of those. And then I've got my Pat McGrath Labs Sublime Fetish Concealer. I love this concealer. I was rationing it out because I didn't want to finish it. I got this in PR through Influencer and I absolutely adored this concealer. But I do think it does look... The color looks a little off, so I, it might be expiring. I might have to go ahead and like finish this, so I'll put it like on top. I'll probably have to pull that soon, but I can't. See, here's the thing. It doesn't do well with sweat, and I need something that can hold up to sweat for the rest of the summer, so I might have to try and use that like as soon as it starts getting chilly outside. <laughs> okay. And then last, and you know what, least, because I hated these, these Tarte C Hydra Sealers. I got a bait and switch. I was tricked. I was bamboozled. <laughs> I got a sample of this concealer and loved it so much. It blew my mind. It was a jumbo sample. I loved it. Um, so I went to Tarte's website. They had a sale. It was like buy one, get one free. So I only had to pay $12 for both of these each. And this is trash. It is hot trash. I don't understand how the sample can be so good and then the product is so trash. And I held on to it. I gave it the benefit of the doubt. I tried so hard to make it work and it just didn't. So bye bye. Okay, Ellen, this is looking so good. So we got through all my foundations, concealers, and powders. So that's it to this declutter series kickoff. Let me know down below what you guys thought, if there's any products that you would have also decluttered. Let me know what's the last thing you decluttered. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.